What's good, man? MBS Central, MBS Uncensored, man. I'm your boy, Keel. I got my guy with me, Mr. C, the trendsetter. What it do? What it do? What's out? All right, man. So normally, you know, Uncensored, we come on here, uh, we, we, we talk about sports. Sometimes we cover battle rap, but we're going to cover some music today because I seen something on here that uh social media is talking about right now and it has to do with joe budden man joe budden um i think he went on um he was on audio i think it was on clubhouse or twitter space is one of those and he said that when it comes to nba young boy in his own words he said he is bigger than nba young boy and he, he got, no he, got said, he is bigger than NBA young boy. Yeah, so it got the everybody in the frenzy right now. People are giving their reactions regarding this. So you, you know, being from Louisiana, you know, you know about NBA young boy. Is he a bigger than NBA young boy right now? It depends on what you're talking about, man. If you're talking about uh, relevance and um and rap right now. Um, as far as putting out music, hell no, he's not better, than, he's not bigger than NBA Young Boy. As far as putting out music, um, as far as a blog and influence on the hip hop culture right now, no. Um, I, I, I unfortunately, I think NBA Young Boy has more of an influence on the hip hop culture right now, but um, but as far as it's being in um, podcasted and all that. He's bigger than NBA Young Boy because I don't think NBA Young Boy has a podcast. No, <laughs> but man. that's what Joe Budden does right now. Joe Budden is a podcaster. He's a former rapper. He uh he doesn't rap anymore, man. NBA Young Boy is still rapping right now. And um, I'm not an NBA Young Boy fan at all, but um, I know he said that NBA Young Boy's music was trash. Now wow. I do it to you. really. I do Hell yeah, man! The young boy is terrible. So why why is he doing his, the, his numbers? What he's doing right now? If you feel like he is so called trash, um, I, I actually teach um, radio at a school in Louisiana, and I deal with the teenagers, and they listening for that's the type of stuff they want to say, they want to hear. They like to, to hear uh, talk about being tough and killing and shooting and all that type of stuff. Even the girls, that's like that's just the cool thing to listen to. It's not because they actually it actually sounds good. He doesn't make good songs. He's just saying what they want to hear. You know, uh, pulling up on the op and shooting them and all that kind of stuff. That's what it is. That's <laughs> why um, that's why people like it. I mean, his beats not even hard to me. Like I don't even I. He he he's not halfway saying any word. <laughs> he sounds terrible, man. The boy's not a good rapper. Um, I could think of a thousand rappers that are better than him, but he's more successful than them. And um, yeah. let me tell you what's crazy. He has such a, a hand on the teenagers right now. Um, I I literally have to argue with my students about who's more successful. NBA young boy or Drake. They'll, wow. they'll literally tell me, man, ain't nobody listening to Drake. And then I'll show them the numbers. <laughs> and uh they want to still argue with me about even about numbers. So in Louisiana, they got they got they got they got some some goats down there, man. You know, they Absolutely. you know the Lil Wayne's, Master P's, Kevin Gates, Boosie. NBA Young Boys in there, man. Do 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 people no, in Louisiana not. feel like NBA Young Boy is a bigger name than those guys? Hell no, man. No, I I, I would say this. Let me say he's not bigger than a, a Lil Wayne. Uh, there would be a debate between age groups if he's bigger than Boosie. Um, the teenagers now, they would they would they would probably pick Young Boy over Boosie. But like I tell them, I always give them, I, I give them facts. I say, name one NBA young boy song that's going to jam harder than if you put it on Set It Off by Boosie. Name one NBA <laughs> young boy song that's going to jam harder than if you put Wipe Me Down on. 
is no way is no comparison so those are the type of things that i i like to bring to their attention but it's it's also a disconnect it's a disconnect between the ages i'm 44 uh these are teenagers so i mean i also i allow them to pick the music that goes on the station because this music is for them so i'm not gonna i don't like 95 percent of the music that comes out now you know what mm. i mean so i can't just go by my stuff i'm a, um i'm a dj so i have to play for the crowd i i i i use them to make let me know what's still good and what people want to hear right now so this for me this has nothing to do with nba young boys music if if if, if it's good or if it's trash yet now as far as the bigger who's bigger as far as brand wise i think that's nba young boy uh nba young boy he has eight over 80 million units sold he's consistently still putting out music um he got four um four al four albums in the in the top 2 100 i mean in the in the top uh, 200 on the billboards right now and well the I one just, he just dropped what the one he just dropped wasn't wasn't too good wasn't too successful this time it debuted with only thirty some thousand sold. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, that's true. Um, I, I just think that as far as the name wise, if somebody's asking me that question right now, they say, "Hey, who's the bigger name right now?" I'm gonna say NBA YoungBoy. Um, right. I, I don't. I don't think Joe has been. That's. I don't think he was successful. Um, as far as the music artist. As far as when he was a uh, uh, when he was rapping, I don't think no. he was. Joe Budden was more of a regional success. He was more in the East Coast, New York area. They like Joe Budden, but nationwide, people would never did jump on the Joe Budden um, bandwagon. Yeah, I, 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 and I never considered Joe Budden when he was out as like a top rapper like that. Yeah, like, you know, I can't all, stand to hear. What was that? I can't stand to hear him. Like his biggest hit was "Pump It Up." And <laughs> that was that was terrible to me. I used to hate to play that song, but it was on it was on the chart, so we had to play it at the radio station I was at. But um, I mean, no, uh, Joe Budden isn't like he's not no hell of a rapper, and he's not definitely not gonna res resonate with anybody down here in Louisiana. I could put that on in in, in any age group, "Pump It Up," and nobody would know that song down here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he Joe Budden did say the same thing you say. He said NBA music, uh, it um, NBA young boy music is trash. But as far as who's bigger, though, right now it's NBA young boy. I think NBA young boy he moves, he moves the 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 the, the rap needle. scene. Yeah, he moves the needle. And I think as far as the podcast world. That's the only argument Joe Budden can put claim to right now. That you know he right. he he has a saying. You know he could he could go on the podcast and say something, and it'll move the needle, and then it'll have people talking. Yeah, are we talking about him now. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I just I just think when it comes to NBA Young Boy, it's the wrong one. And when it comes to NBA Young Boy, he is not in a major label he lately he has a lot of co-signs you know he's so co-signed by birdman a lot a lot of a lot of the you know the big name uh rappers do rock with him you know we we know how about his beats with lil dirk and them so i i, I just um obviously j cole and drake um I just, I just don't think that Joe Budden is the bigger name right now than than NBA YoungBoy. There's no way it's uh, there's no I can I can't see anybody that could make an argument for that that Joe Budden is bigger than NBA YoungBoy right now. Yeah, man, I used to be able to argue um argue that there were people who didn't even know who NBA YoungBoy were was um I can, I don't even make that argument with the um with my um students anymore. Because everybody is aware of who he is. Everybody didn't like his music, but everybody is aware of who he is, and they know that he's very successful. Now, um, I, 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 he's definitely not on the level of a Drake. Let's be real, mm. uh, successful wise, but uh, he does have the ear of the youth right now. Um, so, you know, I, I, I do, 
I do understand what you're saying as far as him being having a he, he's bigger than Joe Budden in anything except for podcasting right now. <laughs> oh, you name it, anything except for podcasting. And, you, and, then, and then if you want to put up the numbers when uh, Joe Budden was rapping compared to what NBA Young Boys are doing right now, I just don't think it's it, it's even close. I think he, uh, it's pro- by a major landslide. Yeah, and, and I'm not I'm not going to do that to Joe. I don't think he was successful even selling albums back then. But right now, Young Boy's success is based on the fact that you don't have to get up, get in your car and drive and go pick up an album. Everybody's just downloading stuff now. That's a way easier. That's the only reason why his numbers are like this. His numbers would not mm. be successful if people had to actually put in some effort to go get his music. And um, like we used to have to do, like, you know, it's to, it, to have to go buy a tape or a CD, it used to take some work. You know what I mean? You have to have to go get uh, Most of the time you didn't have a, a, a car because you were a teenager. You had to get a ride. You had to save up your money to spend your $20 on the CD and go get it. I think if they had to pay twenty dollars to hear Young Boy, a Young Boy CD, he would not be selling <laughs> as much as he is now. I can guarantee you that. But you do have your Lil Wayne's and your Juveniles, uh, Lil Boosie, and all those artists that people actually got up and went to the store to buy them. That's a difference. So, so with this, with NBA Young Boy, really quick, he has nineteen top ten. Hip hop albums, uh, it breaks him from a tie for 18 for the second most top 10 uh, albums in uh, rap history, which was uh, with Nas, who has 18. Jay Z is at number one with 21 right now. And Mm -hmm. then um, he also achieved four number one albums on the billboards and one top 10 hit on. The Billboard um, Hot 100 also. So I, I tell you this: those numbers are skewed just by just by what I just told you. You can just download those albums, man. You can download those albums. The people that you said were behind him, we used to are, are above him. Jay Z, I had to go buy Jay Z's album. If I um, you could just he he's getting all these because people are downloading it and they already have. I have Apple Music. I pay for it every month. So I don't have to pay individually for NBA Young Boys uh, album, you know what I mean? And he's getting the credit for that. That's not the same as I had to go specifically and go buy his album. You know, if I had had access, I could imagine. I could only imagine what a artist like Master P and No Limit Records would have been doing if we could have been just downloaded the stuff and didn't have to go get it. He sold mm. millions of, of records, and we had to go get it. So imagine if we didn't have to go get it. Like we like we're doing right now. Imagine what his numbers would be. It would be insurmountable. And and NBA YoungBoy is one of the most viewed rappers on um on uh, YouTube. Also, he ain't the most viewed one. The mm-hmm. most viewed one is obviously is Drake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know, um, I, he is one of the most viewed uh, rappers on there. So he he's doing damage. Everywhere right now. I, I, I was just surprised when Joe Budden said that, though. I don't know what made him say that. that it just came out the blue. Like, yo, did he really Budden, say that? <laughs> but Budden is an arrogant dude, though. You got to you gotta think about who you're talking about. Joe Budden is a very arrogant dude. And, um, you know, he thinks a lot of himself. So he definitely was, um, was feeling himself when he made that comment. He was dumb for saying it. That was ridiculous. He knows he's not a big, uh, he's not bigger than young boy right now. No, definitely, definitely. And despite how anybody feels about Young Boy, if you think his music's ass, if you think he got weak beats, um, I, I as far as the bigger name goes, it, it it's clearly NBA Young Boy, man. I, I, and I yeah. and I would be surprised if somebody said Joe Budden. Joe Budden's mama wouldn't say Joe Budden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We. We, I just wanted to cover this really quick, though, man. But we'll definitely be back on a Wednesday on the NBS show. We got a lot to talk about on there. But with that being said, man, let's go to our shout-outs and wrap things up. Um, 
Man, you know me, man. Last minute shout outs. I always go to my family, Hunter Morgan, Tori, Christian, and Leah. Edward, daddy, love y'all. I see you in just a second. And my beautiful wife, Patricia, I love you too. I'll see you in just a second. To Pat Pat, baby, Marcel, Carter, Bryant, my brand new grandbaby. Pat Pat, see you in a minute, even if it's just on FaceTime. And everybody out there listening, man, love all y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Boot up or shut up. You know what I'm talking about? All right, man. With that being said, man, this is MBS Uncensored. And we'll.